hello guys good afternoon hope you're doing well today i'm off to a new restaurant or somewhere to eat and it is called eric kaiser and i'm going uh because of visa restaurant week so i have free vouchers for myself <laughs> so my job this week is to eat myself to stupor that's what i'm doing so i've never heard about eric kaiser I've never been there, nobody has mentioned it, I've never seen any review, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I'm going there with an open mind, hoping I shall not be disappointed because I don't like being disappointed when I go for food appointments. It makes me really sad and upset because I'm saving my belly for something yummy. I feel like I googled them and I saw that they had different branches like in America and other places and it felt like it was a I don't know like a French bakery well I don't know like it was French and they have a lot of baked goods that's the idea I have about it all so this idea might change when we get there because you know sometimes restaurants in different parts of the world they do something else and when they come to nigeria they have to go with the flow <laughs> maybe start selling akara or start selling jollof rice so let's see how today goes so come with me on this review and if you like like these restaurant reviews that i do please click the like button and subscribe and leave a comment so that i know what you think about this video so let's start let's start going this is the only way I get around in Lagos. By using the map, if not for map, I don't know how we could go where we won't go. We'll be stopping and be asking people, guy, where be this area? <laughs> so frustrating. This is one of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen in Lagos. So we have arrived at our destination and it was not difficult to find actually. Just by the road and we've never noticed it and such a beautiful building when i was to come here the recommendation was that oh come at night time and i couldn't understand why but now that i can see the building i can say why if you come during the day you might not appreciate the building or the beauty of this building but when you come at night the lighting everything is just so nice you almost feel like you're not in lagos or you're not even in nigeria So I, I met Dima here. Just look at how fabulous she's looking. And then I met Eki here. Nigerian bloggers, vloggers. Look at look at popped in. Popped. Popped. I came here to eat so. So they have pastries, pastries and they have food I don't feel like you're having pasta what do you feel like eating? I don't feel like having pasta too How about burger? yeah she was recommending burger because she said the pasta wasn't that great so I'm going to have the Keza burger and then over here for dessert I can see waffles so I'm going to have waffles like I'm so happy then I'm going to have ice cream one scoop only I'm going to oh there's so much here you know we have to come back they will have like a kids meal they have pastas see the options for salad toasties they have cold sandwiches it's cold sandwiches right here it's two thousand five so what do you want? There's a mini sandwich. Mini sandwiches, 
Mm -hmm. Is it possible to have that with salad? May I even share salad? Okay, yeah, we can share. So we're having the Asian salad. We're having one Kaza burger. Yeah, this Kaza burger. Yes, the double XL. Um, for dessert, Yummy, what, what are you having? There's this thing called this cold sandwich. They call the rustic. The rustic. Okay, chicken breast, sun dried tomatoes, mayonnaise. This, this. Cold is rustic. Yeah, the rustic one. More rustic. One rustic. So I'm trying to order, and I'm confused on what drink to have. This uh, filling, the milkshake. Is the mixture that is filling? Yes, this one is not is not filling. Okay, it, it is like a mocktail. It's Do you know what? I will just take uh, a. Uh, this is a tough decision. <laughs> <laughs> After one hour, I finally made my order. <laughs> so the orders are one Asian salad. Yeah. One Kaiser burger double XL. Yeah. One roast steak. Yeah. One iced tea and uh, one marina. Yes. Okay. I think I want to go and take a look at the bakery section to see what they have. So let's go there. I liked that our waiter, his name was Steven, he was very, very attentive and also very, very helpful. So I have to give him thumbs up for excellent customer service. I also noticed that even if this was kind of like their second week of opening, because it's very new, this is their second week, the place was filled. People kept coming in and out and I was so surprised. I thought it was going to be empty as per a new restaurant. Nobody knows about it, but you guys, most of the tables were filled. Oh, this looks so pretty. This is the Asian salad. It looks so good. And I'm sure it will taste good. Well, I hope it tastes good. Oh my God. The Asian salad was really nice and I think it has become one of my favorite salads. I'm going to try to replicate this for Christmas and it was so filling. If I was the only one eating the whole plate, I would not have ordered anything else because just this plate of salad was so filling. Let's look at the price again of this restaurant. A lot of things were not typically overpriced like Lagos restaurants. I feel like with 15K, if you come here with someone, you can actually have a good time because if you notice, this can fill two people. Do you understand? This burger was 6K, but yeah, it came with chips and all of that. So I thought it was reasonably priced. Um, Yami had a sandwich, Subway sandwich something. And that was good as well. I feel like two people can actually share that because I can't finish it by myself. I couldn't even finish my burger or the chips. So you can definitely share, especially as we shared the salad.
I really, really, really enjoy this burger. I know it looks like I've been eating a lot of burger lately. No, it's not true. I probably eat a burger once in two weeks. <laughs> but this burger was really nice and I enjoyed it. So because it's still Visa Restaurant Week in Lagos, I didn't have to pay because I had a voucher so all of this was paid for by the Visa Restaurant Week. If you want to see all the restaurants that are participating because a lot of them slash their prices, I'm going to put the link below in the description box so you guys can check out where you can have dinner and breakfast and lunch at a very reduced cost. It's a nice restaurant and it's family friendly. When I went upstairs to use the restroom, I noticed that they had a kiddie section and I thought that was really cute, but it would be hard for me to just leave Tito here if I bring him because I will be downstairs and he will be upstairs and I won't be able to see what he's doing. So maybe if they had like CCTV or if I came with a nanny, then I would leave him here while I go downstairs to eat or something. By the time I finished my burger, I was too full. I couldn't even have any ice cream or waffles. Plus they said they didn't even have the ice cream or waffles. I ordered for this flan and I ordered it because I watched a cooking show where they said Prince William and Prince Harry used to eat it as kids and it was their favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did don't forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye